我一直在思考我要什么样的生活。对这种山峰或活动那种憧憬，去尝试的人非常非常少，所以我想去看一看。三个掉到冰裂缝里了。目标永远都是领奖台的第一名。一定要拿到一次，就是要拿奥运会金牌February 13, 2018. The women's snowboard halfpipe final at the Pyeongchang Olympic Winter Games is underway. 25-year-old Chinese veteran snowboarder Tsai Xiaotong is waiting for the word to go. This was her third time competing in the Olympics. 蔡雪桐是二零一五年世锦赛冠军获得者，同时她在二零一七年世锦赛卫冕，成为中国单板滑雪第一个实现世锦赛卫冕的选手。她的期望非常的大，第一个是一个空中飞跃，外转七百二，正脚外转五百四。哎呀，蔡雪桐啊，非常的可惜啊。第二轮，希望她放松心态。正脚外转，九百啊！蔡雪桐又失误了。Despite four years of constant effort, Tsai Xiaotong was still unable to make her Olympic dream a reality. 平常是我，就是对自己期望最大的时候，因为自己年龄也好，然后技术也好，觉得都是最合适的时候，但是并没有达到我的预期，所以那种压力。In the cruel arena of competitive sports, effort does not always translate into results. For Sai Xiaotong, frustration and helplessness pushed her away from the arena, and she decided to devote herself to another world. Your家人都走了，这是我自己。你爸爸再走廊那儿，就是毛衣已经拽到膝盖了。就脸都煞白了，瞎。茫然的时候哈，无助的时候，家里人也知道会有这样事发生，但是没有说的说那个，就是说能
没有那么高文凭，就是说你就是用的书很难。我就希望他能好好学习，考大学呀。那时候就说学业有成是是我最大的梦想。我要从事的这个事业我比较喜欢。我妈他们看到了我这个决心，我就给他留保留了一年的学籍。在这一年当中，你要是有成绩的话呢，你就继续；如果要是没有成绩的话呢？回来还继续上学，看看咱们的母校有什么变化。感觉这个孩子好像多了，比我上次来三个体操台，一开始真的不同意，嗯、对，后来心别耽误人家。其实也也也正好，如果要是早同意了，可能练不了这个单板滑雪，可能就对其他项目。走好自己的人生之路，坚持，持之以恒，对，最后取得成功。变化太大了，成熟稳重了，像个大姑娘了。Sai <laughs> Xiaotong went against her parents' will and joined the Harbin Junior Sports Team at the age of ten, but she never expected all the setbacks that would await her in life. 我进专业队之前没有接触过滑雪，我说自己就属于这种一张白纸，教练给予什么我就能学到什么。零四年开始练的，零六年的那个。冬天三月份的时候，我们有一个全国赛，然后就拿了一个第三名，然后就进入国家队了。In 2006, Sai Xiaotong joined the national snowboarding team. She specialized in halfpipe snowboarding and later officially began her dream journey of competing for her country. 就只有去体育队了，就目标更明确了。我就是要拿那个奥运会金牌。Snowboarding and halfpipe snowboarding date back to the 1960s. Contestants did spins and leaps with a snowboard in the long halfpipe, with judges grading them based on the height, degree of difficulty, and effect. When Sai Xiaotong began training in this event, she was basically a pioneer for China. 在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在
，谢姑娘得付出多少能拿到这块奖牌 ？Snowboarding is an extreme sport in which players must constantly push their own limits against top international rivals. Any error could result in severe injury. 一二年的时候，右臂的这肱骨断了。等我看到的时候，这衣服脚掉了，就剩一个没有袖子，完了穿着这一半儿回来。哎呀，那心要碎了。The daughter's pain was felt in the mother's heart. This injury was also an omen for Sai Xuetong. 面对自己恐惧的东西的时候，大难度动作不敢做，就是你觉得自己做不到，做什么都做不好。The spins and leaps which she once enjoyed became her biggest source of fear. 2014 was the second Olympic Winter Games of Shai Suotong's career. Despite her experience, she was still unable to get rid of her fears. 一四年的索契，自己的状态就一直害怕。Despite this, at Sochi, Shai Suotong put the shadows of the past behind her and performed well. Unexpectedly finishing sixth in the competition. After that, she gradually regained her courage. This just became a U.S. Open halfpipe final. It is beautiful outside, and Zhu Tongkai is starting things off with a big air to fakey. Through the competition, each round, each round, we built up confidence and won the title. China's Zhu Tongkai was crowned with the world champion title in the ladies' event. After the Sochi Olympics, Sai Xuetong became a flag bearer for Chinese snowboarding. She claimed the title twice at the World Championship, and even claimed a podium position in the X Games, a top-tier professional competitive sports event. From Sochi to Pyeongchang, 15, 16, 17 years, all the tournaments I played were very good. Basically, every round was a gold medal. I think the Pyeongchang Open gold medal was very close to me. I felt that I could definitely take that gold medal. At Pyeongchang 2018, errors in two successive rounds put Sai Xuetong out of medal contention. Eventually, her teammate Liu Jiayu claimed the silver medal, which meant the national flag would rise above the halfpipe snowboarding venue for the first time at the Olympic Winter Games. I just told myself, if I say I can't do it, I can't do it. I just 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 can't do it. But for an athlete, there is no passion without competition. Sai Xuetong had been unable to fulfill her dream, but the dream still burned in her heart. She decided to start again and continue pursuing her goals. Ma, I'm going. But the mother still cannot bear to watch her daughter leave. Sai Xuetong decides to prepare again, this time with the aim of competing in Beijing 2022. 如果你要有好的那种体能保持的话，可以在雪上滑很长时间，你可能感觉不会累。So should we just keep you in the backside? So like if that were working better and you know it's still holding up at the moment, let me try try to find a hit on the the backside wall. 
I think I'll just do a couple more run that I'll do the last hit back straight. Yeah. But that sounds good. And then you can get the feeling also like if you find a good hit from the backside one. Aspen is a top-class ski resort, a paradise for extreme snowboarding tournaments, and the place where Sai Xue Tong won multiple medals. 因为很多大部分比赛都在那个科罗拉多州，特别熟悉，所以那种回家的感觉。时间有点短，到了得再再再再再。就昨天晚上时差应该是过的，睡了挺多。到冬天赛季了，特别忙，一周或者十天，可能
she decides to add a backside 900. Of the women's snowboard super pipe final. How about Xu Tong Sai? She's sitting in fourth. This is her last chance to give the judges something to convince them. Oh! And Xu Tong going down very hard, but we hope she's okay. See, that's what Much better front nine. Much bigger backside end. I guess sometimes we have bad days. She's a great person and great athlete and improving all the time, wants to improve. So like we haven't seen the best Shutong Kai yet in forward us. Hopefully in the Beijing 2022, we see the best best out of her. Despite failing so many times, Sai Xuetong never gives up. A few days later, the 2020 FIS Snowboard Halfpipe World Cup event and US Open begin. Sai Xuetong takes the title at the World Cup for the sixth time. She also wins the first gold medal for China in the US Open, setting a new Chinese medal record in snowboarding. Xuetong Kai did not hold She's back. had a fantastic season coming into this it's US a Open. Xuetong Kai is the role model for these, the next generation of Chinese riders, and she showed you why. Colorado! Di Tian. The 2022 Winter Olympic Games is an arena where athletes seek to realize their dreams. Sai Xuetong has always been courageous and persistent in pursuing her goals, and Beijing 2022 could be a highlight in her life as a world champion. Thank <laughs> you.